Obviously, you're partnering with the Data Avengers at this event. Why are these big voices so important within the data space? Because there's a lot of noise out there. I mean, if you think about it, you walk into an event like this, and there's a lot of data. You look at it from a long view, it's a lot of data management activities going on. Everybody who's got data has data problems. So we're trying to cut through that noise of where a semantic knowledge graph fits into all of that to help provide solutions. Sometimes getting that additional boost from somebody else makes a difference. So just people coming by the booth and trying to stand out in this crowd is a tough thing. The data vendors have got a great voice. They know this kind of thing. It, it drove some good activity. Yeah, 100%. And obviously, it is a very busy today at Airbnb Data London. Um, what are some of the conversations you've been hearing, you know, and some of the, and some of the talks you've been having with uh, people at the event today? Everything from what is a knowledge graph, so I asked that question about that, to why would I use a knowledge graph, to some of the very deep technical conversations where I sit back a bit and go, we'll find out about that. Ultimately, though, really it's about how do you make the most value of a data that a company has. And that's, that's a very broad statement. But they might come to us with a specific use case. Here's those things I'm challenged with. I'm trying to understand how to get my data in users' hands better. Or I've got a bunch of structured and unstructured and confusing data. Or I've got multiple systems. Sometimes and with all that. Um, so that's just some of the kinds of things they bring to us. But a lot of it's just around, I know I can do my job better with better data and make better decisions. How do I get there? Yeah. And so trying to, again, trying to help them understand how they can turn their data into a competitive advantage by bringing it all together. That's one of the things we're, we're seeing people, once you start to talk about it, they go, oh, I kind of get it better now. Obviously, data productization is a big uh, trend that we're also seeing. What are some of the challenges that uh, companies and individuals are facing when it comes to you know, making data a product? I think the biggest challenge I see from my perspective is, is getting data consumers, so data, sorry, data producers and data consumers together, and by that I mean understanding who's the owner of the data, what kind of analytics do you want to do, what kind of, what kind of challenge are you trying to solve, and make sure that you've got the domain data being properly shared. Um, because ultimately the data consumers don't truly care where the data comes from, they just want to ask a question or solve a problem, or maybe create something modular and pull that together. But knowing that they've got trust in the data, knowing that somebody else owns that particular data domain and can then pipe that to them to answer those questions, that's one of the things I think when you look at data, data as a product is so important. Whether it's personalization engines or recommendation or building material, building information management material solutions, that's all in some ways my, way, my version of a data product. Taking all this data you've got, bring it together, analytics on top of that, a layer, communication, here's your answer. Because ultimately they just want to answer a question of some sort. And uh, one last question for you today. If you could give one prediction for the future of data within the next 10 years or so, what would it be and why? Graph technology is going to rule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for oh, sure. That's a, great, that's a great question. I think, honestly, I do think that the concepts behind knowledge graphs and semantics, I think semantics are getting better understanding. I've actually heard semantics being used in several talks. They weren't talking about semantic knowledge graphs, just semantics. So we've already gone through this big period of getting more and more data, or you know, understanding more granular data. But you need to apply knowledge on top of that. Data by itself is just data. But if you can apply semantics on top of that, so now you can understand it and use it better, I think a better view of semantic growth is where I see.